Sis guy, he a visionary. Judges order 417. Kodak Black, drug possessor charge, dismissed. In the circuit court of the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Broward County, Florida, state of Florida, plaintiff v. Bill Capri, defendant. Order granted defendant's motion to dismiss count two. This cause came before the court upon defendant's motion to dismiss count two of the information pursuant to Rule 3, 190C4, Florida Rules of Criminal Procedure, filed on February 20th, 2024, on February 23rd, 2024, after the conclusion of a status conference hearing, the court issued a notice of hearing on March 25th, 2024, at 10.30 a.m. to address the defendant's motion to dismiss. On March 21st, 2024, the state filed a motion to continue the March 25th hearing and then filed a traverse and motion to strike defendant's motion to dismiss court two. The court, having considered the instant motion, states traverse and motion to strike. The court filed applicable law and otherwise being fully advised in the premise finds as follows. On December 7, 2023, defendant was arrested for possessing the C word and tampering with physical evidence. The probable cause affidavit states that a city of plantation officer observed the defendant's vehicle parked in a roadway with the taillights on. Upon approach, the officer observes the defendant to be asleep in his vehicle and smell burnt cannabis emanating from the vehicle. The officer opened the driver's door and turned the vehicle off. The officer observed a styrofoam cup and a door handle which smelled like alcohol and observed wrapping paper and cannabis in the center console of the vehicle. The officer asked the defendant to exit the vehicle and sit on a sit on a grassy area away from the car. Defendant was identified by a Florida driver's license in response to the officer's question of whether there were any weapons or anything illegal in the car. Defendant responded, just some weed. The officer stated while he was checking the defendant's driver's license and vehicle registration, he looked back at the defendant and saw a white powder falling from his person. He stated that he also noticed that the defendant's mouth was full of white powder and observed white rock-like substances on the ground. The officer stated that the defendant uttered that if, I mean, that it was Percocet, pardon me. After handcuffing the defendant, the officer field tested white chunky substance using NIK Public Safety Test Kit G which came back positive for the C-word. While searching the defendant, the officer found a clear plastic baggie in the defendant's left pocket and subsequently charged the defendant with possession of C-word, tampering with evidence in violation of probation. On January 6th, I mean January 8th, 2024, the state charged the defendant by information with one count of possession of oxycodone and one count of evidence tampering on January 22nd, 2024. Defendant filed a motion to dismiss count one, stating that the defendant had a valid prescription for the oxycodone that was found on his person, and thus the defendant could not be held to be in violation of Florida Statute 893-136A. Possession of oxycodone on February 9, 2024, the court entered an order granting defendant's motion to dismiss count one. The state filed a traverse and motion to strike defendant's motion to dismiss count two on March 21st, 2024. The state argues that the defendant's motion to dismiss should be stricken as it is defective on its face as a matter of fact of law. In its traverse, the state admits paragraphs one, three, four, eight, nine, and 10, admits in part and denies in part paragraphs two, five, and six, and denies paragraph seven a defendant's motion to dismiss. Legal analysis, I mean, legal analysis pardon me and it's traversed the state admits in part and denies in part the following paragraphs which references the suspect c word tested positive for oxycodone the state admits and adds the substance initially field tested positive of the c word which references that oxycodone is not inherently illegal to possess like the c-word if one has a prescription for the oxycodone then it is not illegal to possess oxycodone is a controlled substance the state adds that the substance was not properly labeled to indicate that possession was by a valid prescription establishing prima facie evidence the possession was unlawful which references that officer stern looked 
in the direction of defendant and noticed white powder falling from his person while defendant's back was turned to Officer Stern that the powder was allegedly visible due to strong lights of Officer Stern's patrol vehicle. The state adds the officer, I mean, that Officer Stern and Edwards observed defendant's mouth was covered with white powder and that white powder around his mouth indicates that Capri was attempting to ingest that substance he had in his possession to avoid that substance be discovered on scene. States Traverse denies the following paragraph, which references the defendant was not trying to discard illegal narcotics. The state adds that defendant knew an investigation was commenced as he chewed and had on his mouth the alleged contraband. In the state versus, I don't know how to say that, the state analyzed the requirement of the specificity of a state's traverse or demure, noting that the rules was amended in 1977 to resolve any ambiguity in the rule as to whether the state must file a general or specific traverse to defeat a motion to dismiss filed under the authority of Rule 3.190C4. Florida, we ain't doing all that. Committee notes. The rules requirement of specificity precludes the states from avoiding dismissal by generally alleging that there are additional facts admitted by the defendant. The rule and requires prosecute. We're not doing all that shit, bro. Basically, the facts of this case are similar to the, to those in McKinney versus State, as in one case, the substance at issue in the case at hand was not destroyed. Officers retrieved and placed in evidence. The substance on and on around the defendant's person under the state's best evidence. The defendant attempted to alter or destroy evidence, but was unsuccessful. According to this court, finds that the state's traverse fails to place material facts before the court so as to require denial of defendant's motion to dismiss. Ordered in a judge, the state's motion to strike is denied and defendant's motion to dismiss court two is hereby granted. Done and ordered chambers for Lauderdale, Broward, Florida. Let's get into it. Now, hopefully, Youngin has wisened up to the point where he understands a little bit more. Now, I get what the state was trying to say, basically. Hey, he didn't have it in the pill bottle. So there's no way in this world we could have knew that little buddy basically had a prescription for this. And technically, I get it. And if you want to say, nah, man, the police should have known. How could they have known if it wasn't in the right bottle? You know what I'm saying? With his name on it. That would have defeated a whole lot. So I hope Kodak Black learns from this and understands, bro, life is only going to give you so many chances. Bro, you are beyond blessed. You didn't have people speak to actual to an actual sitting president at the time to get you basically free of your charges. Now, I don't care about if you like Trump, if you hate Trump or whatever, but what is done is done. But I would like you to all kind of consider this, right? How long can y'all keep rooting for a loser? Just going to be honest with you. How long can you keep rooting for a loser? If he makes another mistake, after making another mistake, and another mistake, and another mistake, and another mistake, and another mistake, how long can you keep on saying, you know what, bro? Yeah, I'm going to pray for you, but I ain't got nothing for you. Because eventually that's what you, that's what we all had to say to him. Hey, bro, hey, look, man, we get it. We get it. You messed up in the head, but, bro, I can't keep on supporting what I'm supporting. So with that being said, bro, shout out to his lawyers. Shout out to him for at least not being stupid enough to place himself in such a peculiar, stupid predicament. But also at the same time, us as people who support this stuff, and it's just simply by listening, by the way. Those of us who support this stuff, bro, we got to start looking at ourselves, too. Start judging yourself off of who you are helping to get fame because the responsibility lies on y'all as well. We keep giving these idiots our attention for bad stuff that they keep on doing. They're going to think to themselves, well, when I do good, y'all say nothing. So when I do bad, y'all say nothing. And for any of y'all who going to say, well, Sadie Nash, you never did all that, you're a lie. I absolutely 100% have a whole entire video showing Kodak Black shirt off in the summer's uh, Florida, which is hot as hell, delivering air conditioning units, and anyone ain't got in trouble for it. And I've, I've ripped all the way into Broward County into that apartment complex because he did something that y'all couldn't do, or y'all wouldn't do, or didn't want to do. Either way it go. 
Shout out Kodak Black, man. I wish nothing but high success for you. And hopefully, man, your road to redemption is a great one and a story that's told and told and can inspire the masses. But if it can't, man, hopefully inspire just one person. And that's all we truly want. But um, if you want to get in contact with me and all that stuff, we kind of shifting off of Instagram. We just kind of just post more media BS stuff like that. But if you want to get in contact with me, man, follow me on Instagram, aka X at Real Seti Nash. And I'll catch you on the next one. All right, man, so y'all know we just hit a 1,000 subs. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help us out, help us out. I'll catch y'all at the 10,000 sub mark. New video will drop in. We out, y'all.